we would do a little bit of gentle stretching and breathing just to get a little more oxygen flowing up into our brain and prepare us for doing some brain games. Okay, this time when we breathe in, we're gonna lift the right arm. So inhaling, the right arm goes up and exhaling, the right arm floats down. Beautiful. Let's warm up the neck just a little bit by looking over our right shoulder gently and coming back to center and gently looking over the left shoulder and coming back to center. All right, so why don't we move on to some of our brain games that we have planned for today. And we thought we would start with a little bit of trivia. And this trivia is called Famous January Birthdays. So it's trivia about famous people who were born in the month of January. So Ginny, do you wanna go ahead and start with that? Uh, sure, I'd love to. Yes, because we are in a new month, a new year even. So these are, the trivia questions are all about famous people who happen to be born in January. So the first one, I mean, I'll give you a couple options too for the answers. I mean, you may know the answer right away, but you have options in case you don't. Um, this famous woman designed and hand stitched the first American flag in 1776 after a visit from the then general George Washington. BR. Uh, <laughs> BR. Uh, yes, a little more detail. Who's that? <laughs> Betsy Ross. Betsy Ross, yes. Wow, nice <laughs> really. On a first, you know, a very friendly basis with her. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> right. That's right. Well, that's perfect. That is correct. Betsy Ross, she's the one that stitched, hand stitched the flag, actually, and designed it. And she was born on January 1st, 1735. Excellent. Okay, so this activity is called What's in Category R? And do you want to take it from here, Jim? Absolutely. Thank you. So Category R, all of the answers begin with the letter R, and we'll go through a number of different categories. So the first category, can you name any fruit or vegetable that begins with the letter R? Mm. Roots and vegetables. Go ahead, Steve. Rutabaga. 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 Any, any idea Rut how to spell that? Rutabaga. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. How do you spell are, are it, you Howard? Something? Yes, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, yeah. look at that. Rutabaga. Okay, so any other fruits or vegetables? How about a Be radish? Oh, good radish. one. Excellent, Claudia. R A D I S H. Good. good. Nice. How about a Renee? How about a Renee? <laughs> and how do you spell that, Renee? I'll take it. Wait. Renee. Sounds like a fancy cookie. Renee, I know. Renee, are you a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> Did we do rhubarb? Yes. Oh, good rhubarb one. is a good one. Good one, Howard. All right, so why don't we switch gears quickly? We're really gonna keep these neurons snap, cracking and popping. Let's do a little bit of math. So we're just gonna do a little bit of easy math because we know that performing math calculations actually increases the size of our prefrontal cortex. So we're just gonna do some simple math and I'm going to read you the equation and you call out the answer, okay? So 10 plus seven. 17. 17. Yes. Good. 30 minus eight. 23. Oh, close. 22. 22. 22. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. okay. 26 times two. 52. 52. 52. Good. Seven plus eight. 15. Oh, 15. Yes. 19 oh, minus seven. 12. 12 is correct. Right. How about 21 divided by seven? Three. Yes. Very good. Wow. How about 15 plus 17? 32. Yeah. 32. 32. Good. How about 16 times two? 32. 
Yes, 32. Quick. How about 15 plus 25? 40. 40 is correct. 